But, you know, some things are caused by God, you know, and here's a couple of things. Here's a couple of examples of uh, bad things that are caused by God. First Corinthians three sixteen. The Bible says here, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So sometimes if you don't treat your body right, you know, if you neglect your body and you abuse your body, God sometimes will take away your life, especially as a believer, because your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Uh, Hebrews 12. We read here, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son. Despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. So sometimes the suffering and pain in our life is caused by God as a form of chastening, as a form of discipline to correct you on something. If you see in Acts 5, And I won't read through it for sake of time, but we read about the story in Acts 5 of Ananias and Sapphira who sold a portion of land and brought it to the apostles' feet and lied about how much it was worth. And how did God punish them? God punished them by killing them both. So, you know, that death was obviously caused by God and God does it as a corrective measure or a way to create fear in the church so that people will not uh, follow their example. The last one we read about is in you know, 1 Corinthians 11, we read about the breaking of bread and people partaking of the Lord's Supper unworthily. It says, for this cause many are weak among you and uh, many, are, many are sickly among you and many sleep. So these are th these are, this is pain and suffering that is caused by God um, that is not necessarily caused by other things.